how do and welcome back yes the day has come and I'm going to be reviewing the Nova Lager yeast uh, Pilsner that I brewed this is pretty much the same recipe as the last one that I just used Nova Lager yeast let's see what it turns out like so I got myself uh, a new Asahi glass for Christmas so I thought I'd use that one nicest there nice co2 and we'll see what this looks like first it is a nucleated glass so there will be lots of bubbles streaming up but look at that uh, it's looking a little bit darker on camera this is a really nice light golden little bit like a Vorsteiner type colour because I used some dark Munich in the recipe uh, about 120 grams of dark Munich that's lovely and it is pretty much commercial <laughs> clarity uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera uh, just how clear that beer is I mean I can just see you straight through it the tiniest bit of haze just up here near the top the bottom is pretty much maybe just about 95% of what you would expect from a commercial beer absolute one of the most clearest beers I think I've ever brewed and for this style I think that's important more so than with an ale I don't mind cloudy beers to be honest but especially if you're giving it to a friend or something like that who like a lager I think they expect, expect it to be clear and this, this really is clear so it looks nice nice pure white head on the top let's go for the aroma it smells exactly like a lager just like a commercial lager no difference at all I didn't use any aroma hops in this so it's just a faint biscuity like malt but it's got that lager smell right I'm diving in cheers tastes like a lager clean crisp and that's the important thing it's crisp really nice and crisp uh, the recipe is the recipe so it's nice and dry at the back end a little bit of bitterness there uh, not too much about 30 IBU bit of grassiness a little bit of lemon uh, and those obviously that the biscuity malts right well that is a lager beer so how did I brew it well it was well I brewed it in the kettle uh, how did I ferment it it was nine o'clock on a Monday morning a uh, Sunday morning nine o'clock on Sunday morning I just dry pitched the 11 grams of Nova Lager and I noticed after about six hours there was a thin foam starting to appear on the surface and after 12 hours that had become uh, quite a biggish foam it's not as big as uh, an ale nowhere near that big but it was definitely forming there was definitely some thickness to that foam after 24 hours on Monday morning it was really going well really nicely fermenting and I took a hydrometer reading and it had dropped 10 points already in fact every day it dropped pretty much exactly 10 points every day uh, so that was uh, so I started it on Sunday at nine o'clock in the morning Thursday so that's just four days later uh, Sunday Monday Tuesday so Wednesday and then Thursday morning I checked the hydrometer and it was 10 12 and that's where it finished but it was still very sparkly so I left it a couple more days and on the Saturday still at 10 12 so it's a five percent beer and it started off at 10.52 by the way and uh, all that sparkliness had gone so I thought right it's time for to bottle 
I didn't bother though for another couple of days so I bottled on the Monday after that uh, and I did notice and I was quite worried that the bottles were pretty much as clear as this I think it's got a real high flocculation and I think it settles out very quickly however I bottled and within 24 hours I could feel they were starting to firm up but it took a while till they got solid and I think that's simply because there wasn't enough yeast in each bottle and it had to make a new colony up uh, but by Saturday so this is last Saturday just gone it's Monday now for me uh, by the Saturday they, they were solid Saturday night they were solid so I put some in the fridge and I tried it and it was very nice Sunday I moved them out here and they've been out here now about 24 hours like I say today's Monday for me so all in all uh, that's that's mighty fast for a uh, for a lager uh, and if it weren't for me being so slow uh, you're looking at maybe a week and a half to two weeks from start to finish and like I say it is uh, a lager it's just a clean tasting crisp lager light bodied fizzy crisp it's just what you want when you want a lager um, so yeah I'm really really happy with this yeast and whenever I make a lager again this is the yeast I'm going to use uh, how did it compare with M54 with uh, Lutra which was my go-to well with M54 you've still got like a two week ferment uh, not one week and you've still got uh, you still it still takes a couple of weeks in the bottles not just one week like this and to be honest it actually it needs storing it needs lagering uh, this it creates sulfur it creates diacetol and it doesn't taste ideal you know fresh straight from the straight from the fermenter almost straight from the bottle after carbonation it, it does need that time so this is two weeks start to finish uh, and and it's a lager so it it beats m54 Lutra Lutra will do it quicker <laughs> about half as quick but it lacks that crispness it's very clean and um, you know you'll get away with it most people wouldn't notice the difference but it does lack that crispness and crucially it's twice as expensive so uh, Lutra I think the last one I bought was about £8.50 for 11 grams this is about £4.50 I think it was £4 something uh, so it's half price <laughs> just wait a few extra days that's all you need uh, and you get a really nice crisp clean lager so it beats Lutra in that respect as well so this is going to be my go-to lager yeast uh, I'm, I'm really happy I'm really happy with this beer and I'm really happy with the yeast and yeah what I plan to do is make several more batches not of this i'm going to probably actually i've got a recipe for a sahi so i might make a, a sahi clone might make another vorsteiner and then just store them away uh until spring and summer because the weather we're having now is ideal for lager making so that's what i plan to do uh fermented about 15 16 degrees and uh and then just put them in here and then drink them march april time uh, and into summer so that's it that's the Nova Lager yeast really really impressive <laughs> and only £4.50 a sachet mm. right well I'm going to uh, enjoy this and uh, oh it was a toss up today which one to review it's a peach IPA it's finished and it's out here 
uh, but I know a lot of people asked about this uh, well a couple of people asked about this Nova Lager yeast so uh, I thought I'd do this one first absolutely thumbs up if you can get it where you live if you're in the UK you can from the malt miller if you can get it in whatever country you live in give it a go uh, I think it'll probably be your go-to yeast I think it's a game-changing yeast for lager brewers both home brewers and uh, and professionals to be honest because you don't need that extended lagering time there's no diacetyl there's no sulfur so I think it's a game changing yeast so if you can pick it up where you live give it a go and I'll see you in the next video bye bye for now